Hello, my name is Jack Shea. I'm the business development section manager of Gaoli Heat Treatment in Taiwan. And today I would like to uh, use the opportunity to share a little bit about uh, single phase immersion cooling, uh, the advantage benefits of it. Uh, the topic is uh, less is more efficient cooling today for powerful IT tomorrow. The speech is also sponsored by our partner, Summer. Before we get into the topic today, I would like to uh, share a little bit about both companies. And Gaoli was founded uh, 50 years ago in Taiwan. And back at that time, Gaoli was the first and also the only metal heat treatment company in Taiwan. And based on the heat treatment technologies, 25 years later, we started manufacturing a uh, brace plate heat exchanger, which is one of the important components for uh, HVAC systems. And in 2008, uh, we entered the uh, fuel cell power generation area, which utilized the uh, aerospace gray welding. And to combine both uh, the knowledge on HVAC systems and also the welding techniques, in 2016, we start the development of data center liquid coolings. And in 2019, we think about uh, having this uh, energy incubation concept, especially in uh, thermal, manage, uh, thermal energy management. And as for Summer, Summer was funded in uh, 2015 by Daniel and Paul in Barcelona. And after three years of uh, research and development, in 2018, they finally made their first commercial deployments of uh, smart pots. And ever since uh, 2018, uh, Summer has been working on a more sophisticated model of the smart pot and also the uh, development on the smart coolant, the dielectric coolant inside uh, smart pot systems. In 2020, there's, uh, the US office has been uh, established. And if you have been uh, watching closely to the OCP summit this year and also the uh, supercomputing this year, uh, you will see the real release of uh, summer solutions on data center automations. So we are often asked, uh, what's your relationship with summer? Well, uh, we actually have a few, few things in common. We are both uh, OCP members, and we also know the uh, immersion technology well. But the only difference is that Gaoli is specializing in uh, highly customized solutions for uh, hyperscalers. And Summer develop uh, standardized and also modularized uh, products for small and medium data centers. But most importantly, that we, we share the same vision of a uh, better data center cooling and also more efficient use of the energy. And I believe for data center, the data center industry, there are a few challenges ahead. Uh, I think every day we are dealing with a massive amount of data to uh, ultra high speed communications. For example, if you uh, were to watch a Netflix videos on your phone, you will be, uh, there will be a lot of uh, images and also video transfer from your device to the data center and also data center to your device. So in the process that will create a lot of uh, heat from the, from the computation. So that's something where we need to uh, address for. And also uh, the rise of edge computing, uh, the, pro the, the issue for location selection, also uh, decentralization of data centers uh, need to be uh, taken care of because it used to be a, a big data center, but now you're deploying more, uh, more and also smaller data center around the big data centers. 
And data, the data center industry is also known for the high consumption of electricity and, and water. So to, attack, uh, to tackle these problems, we need a, a more efficient cooling technologies. And the single phase immersion cooling technology might be the solution to the energy consumption or resource consumption issue. And the last one, but the most important one is being carbon neutral. Because nowadays, everybody uh, from the hyperscalers uh, to the medium small data centers, they are seeking a solution to be carbon neutral. So in the next few slides, I will uh, be sharing some of the, the ideas or concepts that maybe in the future you can uh, adapt that to your, your data centers. So less chill to cool, but more compute to heat. So in the traditional air cool data centers, uh, a chiller will produce uh, cold air to cool down the IT equipment. But in the photo you see, this is a typical immersion cooling uh, data centers. So on the left, you have the primary cooling immersion tank, which uh, house uh, the IT equipment and the IT equipment produce heat to heat up the, the dielectric uh, coolant inside. And then the heat was transferred through uh, heat changer technologies to the outside, either through uh, a dry cooler, that's uh, the picture is on, on the right, or you can use the, also the heat change uh, technology to reuse the heat. So for immersion, uh, cooling technologies, you can use up to 98% uh, of the, the free heat. So this is, uh, the free heat is good for uh, the energy uh, sector and also yeah, benefits to uh, semiconductor and also textile industries because both the industries are, uh, are well known for energy, uh, high energy demand. And right now in Europe, there are, in Europe there are few uh, hotel owners are thinking about integrating uh, data centers into the hotel. So that way they can reuse the heat for district heating or even to heat up their uh, swimming pool and also some hot water facilities. So just to uh, give you an, an example, if we want to uh, heat up an Olympic size swimming pool by five degrees Celsius, it will take only about uh, a quarter of the day, which is uh, six hours for 45 smart, uh, summer smart pots to complete uh, the task. So in the process, it can reuse about 27,000 kilowatts of thermal energy. And most importantly, in the process, almost zero water was consumed. So that way, if you look at the uh, example, uh, you can reuse the, the heat from, from IT equipment more efficiently with the single phase immersion cooling than uh, the traditional air cool data center. And another advantage and benefit of Immersion cooling is, it takes uh, less space and also uh, less noise level. So this is actually good for uh, urban locations because in uh, inside a city, if you want to find a, a small data center, so you have to be careful with the noise. You might get a lot of complaints from, from the neighbors, you know, so the, maybe the vibration has to be, uh, taken care of. So in the picture on the left, you see this is uh, a scenario for 200 regular air cool racks. And the same computing power could be achieved by just use two, uh, 20 summer smart pots. And you will see uh, a lot of space are uh, saved and a lot of uh, equipments are not needed. And also, uh, it is important to notice that if you use immersion cool technology, the noise level for a data center or a computer room could be reduced 
less than uh, 55 decibels. And back to the same example, we want to heat up the uh, Olympic size swimming pool by five degrees Celsius. And you only take 2% uh, of the sacred field space for 45 summer smart pot. So in that way, if you adapt to the uh, immersion cooling technologies, uh, space reduction is uh, one of the big advantage, especially for uh, countries like Singapore where lands are limited resource and also water is a limited resource. So uh, another advantage that I see is the less time to, to market and more uh, modularity and also mobility. So in the traditional air cool scenarios, you would need uh, once you have a, a data center row space and you need to set up the uh, raised floor and also air containment for the air to flow in right directions. But with the immersion cool tank, you don't really need the, the raised floor or air containment because the, the entire tank, which is a predefined uh, environment for IT equipment. So you can deploy pretty much to a uh, row space all you need is uh, electricity and also uh, piping for cooling. And also white space, uh, that's more for uh, the old data center, but using the uh, immersion core technology. And on the left, you can see the outer space that actually means uh, you can have the immersion tank in uh, a container tank, a uh, container um, or a modular solution. And since the, the cooling is not related to the environmental temperatures, so you can have the tank inside container, but still uh, have a, your IT running, up and running and normally. So uh, for industrial standard, I believe it takes about uh, 18 to 24 months to build a new data center. But if you utilize the uh, immersion technologies, I believe would, the, the time will be 50% or even less to build a modular or a regular data center. Because uh, just, just as I mentioned, uh, you don't really need the, a lot of uh, like waste floors or air containments in the future. And to read, you, the, one, the other benefit is you can reduce the uh, capex for new builds about 50%. Uh, so you can save money and also save time on uh, data center deployments. And one interesting observation that I have for air cool uh, container data center, I believe the maximum you can reach is uh, 300 kilowatts of cooling. But with the immersion cooling technologies, you can house up to 800 kilowatts in cooling capacity. So that, that means uh, it's more cooling for, for the modular data center. And in another way is actually more uh, reusable heat for the data center. Yeah. Okay, so that was uh, some advantage, also benefits of the immersion cooling uh, technologies. And then I would like to share a little bit about uh, what Gauli has done uh, in the past on the deployments. So there are, right now there are two uh, hyperscale deployments that we've made. The first one was back in two, uh, 2018. It was in the third quarter and it's been operating from that time to present. And the maximum cooling capacity of this deployment reaches 3.6 uh, 3 megawatts. And the average annual PUE was 1.07, uh, which means uh, less than 7% of the electricity was used for cooling. And this is, I, I, I when I went there in uh, in gym 2019, and the moment when I entered the room it was pretty quiet. 
and I didn't think the IP was running after I look at the tank and then you see the some ripples inside the tank. And everything was so quiet inside. You can actually listen to music when you when you are working inside. And two years later, with the uh, same customer, we made another deployment. This is in the east central China, where the, the climate is more, much more warmer. And the planned uh, maximum cooling capacity is 2.7 megawatts for this site. And the average annual PoE was measured uh, 1.07. So in the future, I believe there are more uh, deploy, uh, deployments for, uh, for the same customer, but uh, it is said that the immersion cooling is the best for them. And as for summer, this is the uh, deployment made to uh, the European Drilling Research Center a few years ago. And the main purpose of this is the advanced research for uh, cybersecurity applications. And as you can see in the photo, this is uh, an immersion tank with the OCP uh, power inside. So you don't see uh, many power cores on top, but you see uh, some IT hardware, network switches, and also uh, immersible power shelf in the middle. And from the press release, you can, they, they saved about 50% of the electricity use. And also, um, on the other hand, you can reuse uh, a lot of the heat from this uh, 42U deployments. And other than the one uh, I shown, there are also um, many locations that where you can see uh, summer's present. So uh, for telcos, you have two locations in, in the Middle East and also for hyperscalers, you have one uh, in North America and also co-locations, you can find them in, uh, in America, North America and also Europe. And high, uh, high performance computing applications uh, mostly in Europe, and there's a one in, uh, in North America. And for more details, you can go to the, uh, the press release or the, the blog on uh, Summer's website. Okay, uh, before we conclude the uh, speech today, I would like to uh, share a one minute video about this uh, age computing in a box. And this is uh, the innovation to the age computing uh, deployments. By 2022, 29 billion devices will be connected to the global network, more than half of them being IoT and edge devices. Data centers come in multiple forms, from hyperscale down to the micro edge data center which pulls data further out to the edge where it's being produced and consumed. 5G, autonomous vehicles and smart cities are just some of the applications that are set to generate a 40% year-over-year -year growth of this industry. How to overcome the challenge of rapidly deploying an infrastructure capable of supporting low latency services anywhere? Sometimes complex questions have simple answers. Submer is proud to present the Micropod. Enabling highly efficient and ultra-dense compute in a pristine environment. All the benefits of Submer's immersion cooling technology in an edge-ready data center in a box. Wherever you need it, wherever you want it. Micropod. Good things come in small packages. Submer. Data centers that make sense. Okay, so so the micro part is a small data center that uh, you integrate with the integrate uh, 
cooling system inside. So that way you can deploy this unit, the 6U. Uh, you have a form factor of 6U and you can use it uh, indoor and also outdoor. So this is uh, a pretty interesting uh, development for summer. And thank you very much for your attention and also your time today. So if you'd like to uh, learn more about Gao Li and also Summer, here's our, our contact. You can reach me by email or you can find me on LinkedIn. This is my uh, LinkedIn account. And for more uh, Summer's product information, you can go to the website or if you would like to see the Summer tank in, in person, you can uh, take your smartphone and scan the QR code to book a, a summer showroom. So once again, thank you very much for your time and I'll see you next time.